We're in the honor of Guy. In the presence of your honor, Guy, what an unbelievable selection of meat. Also with Hiroyuki and Chef Yan. If you ask where is the beef, what's the best beef? Right here. What a selection. <laughs> and thank you so much for your time. Tell us about what you have here, Guy. Well, today we are looking at some uh, bushugu uh, raised by the Hasagawa family in Saitama, Japan. Uh, this particular breed is raised just for us exclusively for the butcher shop by Niku Steakhouse, as well as for use at the uh, Niku Steakhouse as well. Uh, this family does produce beef for use other parts of the world, but this is ours and ours alone. Uh, I visit these farms, all the farms that we source here uh, at the butcher shop. Uh, all of these farms uh, produce exclusively for us. Uh, we hand select the animals. Uh, we discuss the properties of the land, uh, the feed, um, everything that we do from beginning to end, not only with the farmers, but we bring that knowledge back and try to translate that properly into the guest experience, which is always a uh, mouth. I am gonna go a little bit into a few things here. This is this concept is about the beauty of the animal and it's about the beauty of the farmer and the beauty of the land and the respect and the care that goes into it to get it to come to come here. Yeah. Uh, the intermuscular marbling in these animals is created through the feeding process. A lot of people think that Wagyu drink beer and get massage. Well, that's a myth. Uh, but after eight months, uh, these animals uh, receive a high energy diet, as they call it, high calorie diet the entire time. Mostly uh, comprising of uh, rice straw, post-production mash from grain alcohol, sake, wine leaves, any of those things. That's where the drinking of the alcohol comes in. Uh, barley, wheat germ, and cracked corn. So they eat that their entire life. Uh, some of the animals that I've, I've hand selected a couple years back are still uh, out in the uh, farms um, in Japan and they'll generally be harvested at about three and a half to five and a half years old where our domestic USDA prime and even domestic Wagyu beef is harvested anywhere from 24 to 28 months with some of the domestic farms are actually uh, letting their animals grow a little bit longer to get some more of that intermuscular marbling but the pure Japanese A5 Wagyu fat is uh, concentrated uh, in the animals genetically, uh, taking the oleic acids uh, within the animal's ability to process and uh, produce uh, complex fatty acids and sugars in their four compartment stomachs and turn that actually into, uh, with the oleic acids, turn that into omega-3s. So the good fat that we would uh, associate with uh, seafood, mostly being salmon. Not saying that it's eat 3,000 pounds of Japanese uh, Wagyu <laughs> and you're gonna be a healthy person, but those fats are definitely a, uh, a very beneficial mm. fat. Of course, these animals each uh, like the terroir of the land or when comparing it to wine. Kobe, for example, comes from Kobe, Japan. You cannot grow Kobe beef anywhere else on the planet except for Kobe, Japan. Uh, but Kobe is also Wagyu, uh, the black Tajima line, uh, where this is also one of the black uh, cows here or steer in our uh, A5 Hasaka. So, that's, what we got. that's amazing. And that's you're it. serving this next door at Niku, right? We are serving that next door at Niku. Okay, what do we ask for? Because we're going to go next door and try some oh, of this your This is meat. the Bushugu. 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 Samurai, okay. beef. Bushugu. Samurai, Samurai beef. Samurai beef. Samurai beef. Samurai beef. Much more, one, much more f umami, much more tender, much more the fat is, the, the, the animal fat is, even in this jubile, the marble is perfect. So this is what we try tonight. Okay. All right, Hero, are you excited? Sure. Can I can I have this one? Um, <laughs> guy, look over there. Something moving over there, guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we'd love to thank join you. you on a trip one day. Oh, you right? will one day. Okay, yes. that's great. There's, there's we'll many opportunities. And okay. And now with everything opening up, hopefully we'll get to travel. Together. Sounds wonderful. Sure, I would love that. And you guys, I'm honored to have you both here. Oh my gosh, like royalty, both of you guys. <laughs> Always. Thank you. Yeah, thank no, it's so good. I'm going to have to buy some for my twin boys. Okay. So I'm going to buy uh, two pieces. Two pieces. Yeah, yes, two chef. pieces. I want, to, I want my twin boy to appreciate it. Wow. Yes, nice, nice. Got you. So, and I'll wrap it up. I'll okay, real nice for you. Thank you. All right. Yes, you. Sounds, Sounds great. Man. Man with good taste in beef. Where's the beef? The beef is right here. <laughs> the best beef. Look at the, the marbling. Shop. Look at the marbling.
you cannot even like a painting. You cannot even paint it. This beautiful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Can't get anywhere else but here. Thank you. All right, information down below and in the description box, gentlemen. Let's go next door. Yeah, let's All right. go. Let's have some fun. Tomahawk, which is a uh, Sonoran beef grilled over white oak. Uh, the short rib, one of my favorites, Snake River Farms. We brine it, 
We smoke it all day during prep. Uh, we sous vide for two days and then we char it on the grill and then glaze it in a bordelais sauce. Uh, crispy potatoes layered with wagyu fat and a chickpea miso dip and shishito peppers. So just coming into season. Stone fruit barbecue, grilled peaches, a little bonito flake on top, and then the famed Kobe beef from the Hyogo Prefecture. The final dish here, the farm. So this is everything about California summertime. Uh, with a little bit of the East Coast mix in. There's an early girl tomato that we let sit above the grill and kind of smoke and dehydrate that we keep basting in uh, tomato water from last year. It's all sitting on a miso banya cauda underneath. There's cauliflower, purple broccoli, and then all different types of uh, herbs, basil, shiso, um, and pickled ranch as well. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. It's like the most important meal. So all of us, we eat pretty much once a day. Um, some of us, you know, they take home food. Like it's the only thing we get to eat. So staff meal should always be good. It should always be in abundance where people could take some home and it shouldn't be an afterthought. So, so like, what are you preparing here, chef? This so is a, this is staff meal. Can you guys Saturday is a fajita day. So we got flank steaks, we got uh, chicken marinated and all, and then we're going to grill it when we're done smoking the Wagyu Tongue pastrami over there. Um, and yeah, chicken and flank steak. Unbelievable. Meals. So you guys want to work at a fabulous place? <laughs> this is your staff meal. Yeah, this is staff meal for you. Unbelievable. Wow. This is, chicken looks so good too. Yeah. <laughs> Dark meat, of course. Yeah, chicken pies. It's funny because when you're talking about how serious we are about staff meal, I'm doing the fajitas today. We're smoking tongues for a new menu item. We'll be putting on next week, but my chef de cuisine is smoking pork shoulders for tomorrow's staffing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what do I apply? Exactly. Right? right? <laughs> Reach out to us. Hit me in the DMs. All right. <laughs>